Hello YouTube, it's Annabelle56 here and as everybody knows I have griped about the new 3.75 inch figures um, because I much prefer the 5 inch figures but I got this set because it's a BBC exclusive um, exclusive to the BBC shop and you got um, a nice um, size TARDIS in it Okie dokie, it's the Hyde Caliburn House um, adventure set. It features the 11th Doctor in his new purple coat and a materialising or dematerialising um, or they call it holographic interface Clara and a dematerialising TARDIS. It's a triple exclusive because you can only get these three figures within this set. This is the side packaging exclusive holographic interface Clara Translucent TARDIS with open with opening front doors. There he is. You get a little eleventh Doctor Sonic screwdriver. Triple exclusive. Includes the TARDIS, two action figures, the eleventh Doctor and holographic interface Clara. There you go. TARDIS. Same blurb. Same blurb there. Same stuff. Okay. On the bottom, legal garb. Okay, here we go. Five plus, and it says, "Note: TARDIS is not is non-electronic. All images are for illustration purposes only." And it says, "The Doctor and Clara arrive at a haunted mansion, Caliburn House, which stands on which stands alone on a desolate moor. Here they encounter the legendary ghost hunter Professor Alec Palmer and his gifted psychic assistant Emma Grayling. Palmer is trying." Emma Grayling. Palmer is trying to contact a fabled spirit that haunts the house, the Witch of the Well. Much to Clara's apprehension, the Doctor can't help but offer their assistance. So, and it says, contains one eleventh Doctor action figure with display stand, one holographic interface Clara action figure with display stand, one dematerialising TARDIS, not electronic. It, it also, they don't list that it also comes with a sonic, that the eleventh Doctor comes with the sonic screwdriver. There. A very small sonic screwdriver, which I have not got out and I never will do because it's tiny. You could choke on it. Or, I don't think you could choke on it, but you could actually swallow it and it would vanish off into the distance. Okay, so let's get it out. I might have to put this down. Yes, I'm going to... Sorry, guys, I'm going to have to put this down to do it. And there we go. Okay. We've done that. It features this lovely picture... Of the ruins of Caliburn House with a nice tree. So that's a nice background for your figures. Okay, here they are. Whee! So this is the TARDIS. It is a bit see through. Look, you can even see where the battery should go. We're electronic, which is kind of a bit cheap, really. But I really like the size of it, actually. It's a nice size TARDIS. It doesn't have anything in the back round at all no um, console or anything in there it is really fiddly to close um, this does not open doesn't really do anything other than being on electronic tire so that's the bottom this is the top the sides yeah have a door open for you see open both doors so that's the inside but it is really, really fiddly to close. So that's that. Here are the figures. They are really, really small. How on earth they thought that these would like be appropriate for children, I do not know. Well, especially like the under eights, because the tiny getting them out is a nuisance. See look. Okay. Come on. And the little display stands. I'm not going to get them out, but they're both silver because they have these little holes on their little feet to put them on, which kind of makes them a little bit, you know, you'd think that they come with these lovely display stands that you can put them on, yeah? And you'd want to show them off. But you don't because they are so cheap. The figures are tiny. It, it sits in my hand. I mean, I could pull his head off and choke on it if I wanted. His legs could fall off. They're just 
Not very well done at all. I mean, look at his bow tie. There's even a blob, look. Oh, no. That's... That's just a bit of loose paint. How annoying. So there he is. It's really badly sculpted. There's no detail whatsoever. It's just a very simple figure. Clara has got some detail. Her hair is slightly different. She's got little holes for her feet. But that's her. They are tiny. And it's itty bitty Sonic screwdriver, which is never coming out because it's too tiny and I might lose it. Oh, this is a little hat to protect the TARDIS light bulb because heaven forbid that should go out. There we go. That goes back in there. So here they are. They are really, really small. I don't know how anybody thinks that a child could play with them because you play with them for like five minutes and the legs will break because she is pretty, like, it's not hard plastic. It is pretty soft. She is fairly soft, actually. And it is kind of squishy. And I think she would break within like five minutes of turning her arm. <laughs> so I'm just going to put her back away. I'd give her a one. There you are. She's blue. Yeah, apart from her hair. And it's really, really bad detailing. I've just got it because it's an exclusive. And actually, the best thing about this set is the actual TARDIS. See, look. But there's nothing inside it. It is, you know just for the sake of them doing an exclusive set, really. I think... I got it on discount, so I'm not too bothered, but they, they are tiny and fiddly. And I only got this one because I haven't got a Clara figure and I don't really like her as a companion, so she might as well be a hologram for all I care. <laughs> then she can be anybody. She could even be like a little Amy. Because her hair is like, is it brown or what is it? It just looks like sludge. So yeah, that's my review. The best thing about this set is the TARDIS. Because it's nice and small. And actually, I think it's quite nice. The silver bases are very nice. There's nice detail on the sonic screwdriver. Clara's got some interesting clothing details. But... Really, the figures are small, and the paint job on the 11th Doctor is awful. So, overall, I'm going to give this set a 5. Mostly the 5 points for the TARDIS. And I'm unsure. And it's like 4 points for the TARDIS and 1 point for the silver bases. The figures don't get any points, and the sonic screwdriver loses. Even though it's details, it loses points because it's too small, because you could swallow it and eat it. So overall, I give this set a child safety rating of minus two because the figures are ridiculous, anything. And the TARDIS is lovely. I bought this mainly for the TARDIS. I'm thinking about getting an electronic miniature version of it. So I don't really have a spinning TARDIS um, at all. So I'm kind of undecided because a lot of people are saying I should get like uh, a 10 the Tenth Doctor's Spinning TARDIS, because you can get those um, on Amazon and on um, eBay. Um, I'm not too sure whether I should get 11s, because I do have a big 11 non-electronic one that comes in the Police Amy um, and um, Tiger, um, Tiger Tweed um, suit that the Eleventh Doctor wears. So I'm kind of really undecided about what ele electronic TARDIS I should get. So if you guys can advise me in the comment box below, that would be great. So this is this BBC shop exclusive. I um, got this because it was on discount and I haven't actually got any of these little figures. And hey, why have um, one rubbish figure when you can have three triple exclusive figures? So... I went for this one, and I don't really have... I know that there's going to be a 5-inch version of um, Matt Smith's 11th Doctor wearing his colourful suits, but I just don't know when, so I got this as kind of a stopgap. But hey-ho, 
and also to get to actually judge these figures myself and um, my um, opinion of them has only got worse by having them. So in the comments below, advise me what kind of electronic spinning TARDIS I should get. Please rate and subscribe. Bye!